Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gary with another fan TV, man. Back at you another video. Like the content video, go ahead and smash that like button. Also, comment down below your thoughts on the video. And look, man, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're about 25 away from hitting that 1K. Everybody that has been hitting that subscribe button lately, thank you. I appreciate it. All right, man, let's get into it. So, the Raiders make several changes to the coaching staff, all right? Uh, first change, Willie Taggart is a new running backs coach. We talked about that yesterday, replacing Craig Versteeg. For Steve been on the staff since like uh, 2008, so he's been here since John Ball, John Harbaugh was originally hired um, in a multitude of different roles, so they'll probably just reassign him somewhere else. Cool. All right, now the next one is T. Martin. T. Martin is the team's new quarterback coach. He was the wide receivers coach. He is now the new quarterback's coach, replacing James Urban. And this move isn't a complete surprise. Uh, T. Martin was a quarterback in college. Um, now, T. Martin has been wide receivers coach in a lot of different places. All right, you know, Tennessee, Kentucky, USC, uh, pass game coordinator as well. He's done a lot of different things, right? So him being wide receiver coach here wasn't necessarily surprising, but you would feel as an ex quarterback, especially as at a, a, a program like Tennessee and playing at a good level at Tennessee, that you know being a QB coach is a natural fit for him. So I think that's a good promotion. I think that's a good move. Um, I think that he'll be able to relate to Lamar Jackson, and um, I'm a fan of that move for T. Martin. Now, uh, previously in another video when I said that the Ravens were going, him and Ravens and Tom Munkin were going to change the staff up. I said the two player, two people I would like to see the Ravens keep is uh, T. Martin and Keith Williams. So it looks like that's going to happen. So I'm happy that T. Martin is still on the staff. Um, could that he could have been somewhere else? Honestly, um, he's been um, an offensive coordinator candidate for the last two off seasons. Uh, last year was the Bills before they hired uh, Ken Dorsey, and then this year it was the Colts. Uh, he was a candidate for the Colts offensive coordinator job. Before they went with uh, Jim Bob Cooter, which I still can't believe is somebody's real name. Uh, but yeah, so <laughs> Jim Bob Cooter is the new Colts offensive coordinator at T. Martin and get that position. So um, I think QB coach is a good step. I'm not going to say it's a promotion, but when you see a lot of these people who are getting interviewed for offensive coordinator jobs and, um, you know, that taking that next step, they come from QB coach, they come from pass game coordinator. So if T. Martin wants to be an OC, then be an OC, then go from an OC to a head coach. I think a QB coach is a nice step on that ladder for him. All right, so I'm happy with that. Now, James Urban. James Urban's been on the Ravens staff since 2018, since Lamar Jackson was drafted um, as the QB coach. All right. Now, um, before that, he's with the Bengals for like six years. Okay, so James Urban has been. I think him and Lamar Jackson relationship was okay. I'm not gonna say it was the greatest. Uh, it seemed like last year was a little strange. Like, I think they had a good working relationship. Right? I'll put it like that. I don't think they hated each other or disliked each other, anything like that. But last year was a little strange. You know, there was training camp when Lamar brought his own personal guy, uh, his own personal QB coach to training camp, where it's not something that you see too often. Um, it is a move that you can make it seem like, huh, does he like James Urban or do, are they getting along, whatever. So that was interesting. Uh, I thought the right was kind of on the wall there. Then also, this just a couple weeks ago, um, you know, James Urban was in the mix for the Ravens offensive coordinator position. So he could feel like, hey, man, I got passed over for that. It's time for me to go ahead and do something else, do something new. And now the rumor for James Urban is the fact that he could join the Cleveland Browns staff. So imagine he's going to be on three AFC North teams, you know, the Bengals, Ravens, and the Browns. That'd be kind of crazy. But um, anyway, the rumor is that Jeff Rebeck said that him and Stephen, uh, St uh, Kevin Stefanski, I don't know why I couldn't say that, him and Kevin Stefanski are friends. They, um, Stefanski has tried to hire James Urban before in the past, so that could be a natural fit. Uh, Cleveland doesn't currently have a QB coach, to my knowledge, because their old QB coach went to Arizona and is now the Arizona Cardinals' new offensive coordinator hired by Jonathan Gannon, all right? So um, that could be a fit for him right there, you know what I mean? Um, now, for the Ravens, uh, good moves. Uh, you know, some shuffling around, nothing that was really as far as, you know, they went outside the building and hired somebody. But I like T. Barton staying. Um, I think that he's a progressive passing kind of guy. So I think he'll be good for that. Um, him being kind of stuck behind Greg Roman was, um, I don't think it was the best for him, to be quite honest. Now, the second move that the Ravens made was um, they took Steve Saunders, the, Steve, the strength and conditioning coach, and removed him of his duties. All right. They got in a guy named Scott Elliott. I'm not going to say I can give you a full history on Scott Elliott, but he is the new Ravens uh, strength and conditioning coach. And the reason that this move is important is because Steve Saunders is kind of a controversial figure um, in the Ravens uh, organization, especially if you look, you look at Ravens Twitter, right? Um, so he's a guy that multiple ex-players have blamed for their injuries and their, the training program going too hard, things like that. So um, Derek Wolf, 
you know, ex Raven. Um, he said that you know he he wasn't a fan of Steve Saunders' training program. He said that that the Ravens um, train to be good for the first four to six weeks of the season, and then they tail off at the end of the season. And the last couple of years, we have seen that. That's been the truth, right? Now, Derek Wolf, I'm not going <laughs> to. He's kind of funny because like you know he was hurt with a back injury, but we saw that picture of him carrying a bear on his back. Um, that I'm not a doctor, but that can't be good for your back. Um, but he wasn't saying anything that other people haven't said. So uh, Matthew Judon, ex-Raven as well, he wasn't a fan of Steve Saunders. Um, somebody had found a tweet that um, for 2021 that uh, Sean Elliott had put up, you know, talking about his, um, you know, recovering from his injury and his adversity. And Matthew Judon said something to the effect of keep your head up. Then he had a hashtag of fire Steve. So he didn't talk about Steve Bashadi. He was talking about Steve Sanders, the strength and the conditioning coach. So um, he wasn't a very popular figure. That, at least it didn't seem like he was. So I'm not surprised by this move at all. Also, back in 2020, I think Steve Sanders was was right in the middle of the Ravens having a coronavirus outbreak. Uh, you know, back when COVID was, you know, really, really rampant. Um, so uh, it's been a couple years coming for Steve Sanders. Um, and yeah, I think it's a good move. I, I can't tell you who Scott Elliott is, but hopefully he can do a good job of keeping the Boston Ravens on the field and healthy and have a training program where the Ravens are not just good in the beginning of the season, that they can stretch it out throughout the entire season, not have a lull and fall off. Um, if he can do that, automatic upgrade, two thumbs up for me. So that's how I feel about that move right there. Right. So those, those are the major Ravens coaching staff um, moves. Now, with T. Martin uh, vacating the wide receiver's uh, coach position, that leaves that position open. All right. Now, if I'm, in my opinion, the Ravens should just take Keith Williams, who was the pass game coordinator, and make him the wide receivers coach. All right. He already does a ton of work with the wide receivers. If you've been to any of the training camp practices, you'll see Keith Williams out there working with the wide receivers. He pretty much runs their drills, um, not by himself. T. Martin is kind of, you know, watching all over there, but he pretty much runs the wide receiver drills. So, you know, um, He's a natural foot selection. Also, he's a renowned wide receivers guy. I've mentioned this before. You know, uh, Sammy Watkins, Tyreek Hill, Devontae Adams. These are all guys that seek out to work with Keith Williams. So he's respected amongst wide receivers. And um, I think that you're going to say, well, he, the wide receivers haven't gotten any better since he's been here. Right? Okay, cool. But you got to think of a system that they were playing there. Greg Roman's system de-emphasized the wide receivers. So, a guy like Keith Williams, the work he was doing, it couldn't have been showcased. It couldn't be seen. With Ty Munkin here, I expect the wide receivers to be more part of the offense, to actually be treated like they are an integral part of the system. So, with that being said, I would like to, I like to see them be a more um, stable part of the offense, a more consistent part of the offense, and we can see his work start to shine through with these receivers. Because, from all accounts, he is a really, really good wide receivers coach. All right, so. Move T move, move sorry move Keith Williams over from wide receiver um, for pass game coordinator to wide receivers coach natural fit, and the last thing will be the wide, uh, pass game coordinator that will, will be open right. In my opinion, right there, um, take you know this is Ty Munkin staff right. This is you know all the guys he's going to be working around. Um, let him pick his own pass game coordinator. I know John Harbaugh. This uh, sorry, this is John Harbaugh staff, and um, let him you know you you picked all your move you picked all your guys you moved them around great. Let Tyler Muckey get a guy that he knows for the pass game coordinator. Let him get a guy that knows the system, that he's comfortable with, that he's familiar with, that he, that can teach his system the same way he can teach it, right? Because right now you have a bunch of guys in there that's learning a new system along with the players. At least get one other guy in there that Tyler Muckey knows, that knows the system in and out, or however he's going to run it, that he can trust that he can talk to. Let him make that hire at the very least, right? Because if... That hire doesn't call, call, uh, come from Ty Munkin, then, you know, it's all John Harbaugh, right? And listen, John Harbaugh's a head coach, so he gets to pick his staff. I get that 100%. But you got a new offensive coordinator. Let him pick somebody on here. If you want to truly make a change, if you want to truly be a different Ravens coaching staff, let him pick at least one player on here. I mean, not one player, sorry, one staff member on here. You know what I mean? So um, that's, what I like. that's what I would like to see. Hopefully that happens. We know that John Harbaugh is kind of a control freak. So it might not happen, but to me, that's the most natural thing. So for the vacated spots, Keith Williams, go to wide receivers coach, Tom Munkin, you pick your guy for pass game coordinator, and then the Ravens staff on offense is pretty much complete. They'll keep the O-line coach. Um, they'll keep the tight ends coach. And, you know, the Ravens will move forward, and that, that'll be the coaching staff for at least the next season, and we'll see where it goes from there. But, you know, the Ravens make some moves, some moves that we saw. 
that they said were going to happen, that they were going to, um, that what the insider said was going to happen, that sustain, uh, changes to the staff were going to happen. You know, Ty Monk said the staff was a work in progress at the press conference. So nothing, none of this should really be too surprising. But got a report on in this news. And um, yeah, man, we'll see where the Ravens go from there. So hopefully that these moves are positive for the offense. And I think they will be. I do. Um, so that's my thoughts on it. Um, you know, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on these videos, man. Thank you for everybody who's watching the videos. And um, yeah, man, it's your boy Gabriel on the Fan TV. I'm out.